Hello this and welcome back to my channel icons. In today's video we'll be going over my Rainbow High collection favorites. These are just dolls I love customizing or just dolls that make me happy. So let's get into it. First up we have Daria. She's one of my top um, 10 dolls. I really really love customizing her. This is These two are customs. Of course this is her original doll that I redressed in this wrinkly dress. Ignore how wrinkly, wrinkly that is. But she's a really fun doll. She's really pretty and her hair is light enough to like go a lot of different colors. Like you can turn her hair red, orange, of course purple. This is like um I would say maroon. I was going for brown but I um toned it red then dyed it brown and it came out maroon and I actually really like it. But yeah, she's a really fun doll to customize, and her base doll is also pretty. I would definitely recommend buying her if you don't have her already. And yeah, these are my Daria's, and she's definitely one of my favorites in my collection. Next up, we have my Daphne's, and she is so pretty. As we all know, her face mode is probably one of the best face modes in the Rainbow Highline as of date. And this is um, a modified one that I gave bangs to and reconstructed her outfit. You can watch a video on her. But yeah, Daphne is a top... I think she's in my top five, actually, of favorite Rainbow High dolls. She's just super pretty. I want to get... I haven't dyed any of her because I really love her original color. So I don't really have a reason to dye her. But yeah, there's Daphne and the custom Daphne. Next we have Georgia and it's always been an up and down road for me with Georgia. Like at first she she made my top 10 list of of 2021 20, dolls, I believe, in December. But I always just didn't really know why I liked her, but then I didn't like her. But I gave it some time and after restyling her a lot, I actually really like her. I'm not sure what it was about her, but from all the series three dolls, it was her and Gabby that I never connected with. But now over time, they've really grown onto me. I have actually, I have another one on the way to die, but these two are really fun. I really love redressing my original Daria because she's, I think she looks good in almost everything that's peachy. She looks really good in jeans. I have tried jeans on her. So just for that reason, she makes this favorites collection, favorite dolls of my collection video. But yeah, she's a must buy if you don't have her. I'm pretty sure if you are a collector, you probably have her because she's amazing, you know? So yeah, there's Georgia Bloom and her twin sister. Next up, we have Brianna Doce, and she has a great face mode as well. I, really, I think, I'm not sure if she has the same face mode as Daphne, but she is stunning. She's a must have for anyone's collection. I definitely recommend getting her. Her, a lot of her, I think her second outfit is very versatile. It is pink, but it looks really good on um, a bunch of dolls. So if you want to get get her just for her outfit, she's definitely worth it. She is kind of hard to find at the moment, but hopefully MGA gets it all settled and we can buy, well, you guys can buy a Brianna and I can buy more Briannas. Next up, we have the Iconic Twins. These dolls are amazing. I really, really love the fact that we got Rainbow Eye Twins. I remember when they first announced, I was, like, gagging. And I couldn't, like... I was losing grip of reality because they were so, so pretty. And when they re when they were linked... I don't think it was linked. I think it was announced. They literally came out the next week. Well, they were found in stores the next week. And then I went hunting and found them. And it was just, like, really, really nostalgic for these girls i really need to get a second another set of them just so i can have them in their original stock form because these are obviously customized a bit giving them bangs and repainting their lips and i by the way i purposely like over painted their lips so they like look big and look like lip filler because i really love that look on like the twins if you know you know like curb mark twins and how they have like big lips so that's why that's what i was going for with them and they're amazing i hope we get twins in different skin tones and different like color like hair colors like a black and white hair color twins would be so that would be so fishy i would love that but yeah now we have sunny she is probably the most special doll like just the base doll her first wave doll is my first ever rainbow high doll she didn't she wasn't the one who got me hooked it was crystal who got me hooked but she was my first ever um rainbow high doll so just for that reason she is special to me 
Um, I got her in October of 2020, but I didn't actually like become a diehard Rainbow High fan till like December 2020 in you know January 2021. But you know, she is like what's kind of started it all. This is my first ever Sunny doll, so yeah, that's why she looks better than all of the rest. But yeah, these are customs. Obviously, we have her cheer doll in the back. And then this is Winter Break Sunny that I restyled because it's Winter Break Sunny was kind of boring to me. So I just revamped her. And there is my Sunny collection. Well, all my favorite Sunnies, at least. Next up, we have Bella. And I really love Bella. She's so iconic to me. Like the Chanel. Um, she's also a fan favorite of all. I think most Rainbow High fans really love her. Some people don't like her dolls, but I think it's newer fans that are like into the series three face mode and so forth. But like all the old like OG Rainbow High fans who are like used to only this face knows that Bella was like the it girl. She's like the top tier of the first and second releases of series. So just for that reason, she definitely makes my list. And I just love her color scheme. Maybe I'm biased because her color scheme is... Ooh, her color scheme is my favorite color. It's like baby pinkish. Yeah, so I may be biased. But Bella is for sure a top tier girl. So I would buy her before they stop producing her. And people try to scalp her. So buy her up while you can. Also, some quick honorable mentions is Pacific, Girl, Pacific Coast Girlies. I really like them, but I need to work on re-restyling them because my first restyles weren't really resonating with me. So they're not going to make this video today. So yeah, I just want to make sure, let you guys know that they are, I really do love Pacific Coast. I just need to think of better outfits for them so I can love them on another level. Except Simone. Simone is, is top tier. But yeah. Next up, we have Series 3, Cheryl Myers. She is amazing. I really, really love her. And she has a lot of different variants. So if you find one in stores or if you get one on online that you don't like, there is a possibility you could get another. You could see another one that you like more. Like the one on this side has a lighter lip, lighter eyebrows. And on the one on the other side, it has a darker lip outline and darker eyebrows. So you can weigh your options but overall she's a really fun amazing doll her pieces are versatile and she is inspired by a very popular popular movie clueless so if you're a fan you're probably going to want to get her if you don't have her already but this is my first one i ever bought back in september and then this one is one i got on ebay out of a lot so i have no idea when she was released but they're really great so i would recommend getting her if you like her next up we have phaedra um i did make an honorable mention like a couple clips ago where i said none of none of the pacific coast pacific coast girls resonated with me but only phaedra is stunning and she well her my custom one i like more than my original one because she's really hard to restyle like i'm gonna have to make a piece from scratch to like go with her and i don't want to do that at the moment so for that reason she is my superior Phaedra, they're both Phaedra, so she makes the list because I think about this doll all the time. She's really fun. She's pretty, um, and I think she's my best restyle. I don't know. You guys could tell me, but she is definitely a must-have if you don't have her already. I probably, I probably want to get another one just to see if I can actually restyle her successfully in her sunset colors because... It's a lot of colors, so it's like it could you could go wrong quickly if you don't like restyle her right. Is basically what I'm saying. But yeah, if you like her, buy her. Um, I rec I would recommend buying her, even if you're on the fence about her, because she's super super pretty in real life. Like look at her face mode. I love her fit um features like the fatter nose, the bigger lips, because that's very accurate to like to people of color. Especially black people, we definitely have these features, and it's very. I would love to see more of that because we are getting more of it. So, love that, and it's super fun to be able to see yourself in like dolls. I think that's what really makes me connect to Phaedra, and why she's definitely one of my favorites of my in my collection. Last but definitely not least, we have my favorite doll in my entire collection. Miss Robin Sterling, she has hold, held the crown for 
ever since she was released. I think I bought her in like late October. I, I believe. I think that's when I bought her. But yeah, she has been my favorite doll since. And that's actually really hard to because I buy a lot of dolls. So the fact that she's still one of my favorites in late February. How many months is that? Maybe four or three months. I don't know. I'm not good at math. But she has held the crown for that long. She's my favorite. I always want to like buy more of her but she's fifty dollars so i am happy with the one i have but she is amazing uh must have if you can find her without defects mine is a little defective like her eyebrow you see that right there it's like a little smudge but i do not mind it because she still gives what she needs to gave she still gave what needed to be given she is a top to girl so buy her if you don't have her and you will not regret it Alrighty, that's all I have for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, comment if you have something to say, subscribe to see more content from me. Um, if your favorite doll didn't make this list, it's because I have a lot of dolls and these are just my top favorites. So it doesn't mean I don't like the other dolls. They just don't really resonate with me. So I might make a part two of dolls that are like second to my top favorite list, if that makes sense. So if you're interested in seeing that, then let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next YouTube video. Peace.